hypersensitivity pneumonitis, drug-induced interstitial lung disease, and other drug-induced lung diseases are important topics in the field of pulmonology. These conditions may arise as a result of exposure to various medications, illicit drugs, or other substances. Understanding the underlying mechanisms, clinical manifestations, and management strategies for these drug-induced lung diseases is crucial for physicians in order to provide optimal care for their patients. Hypersensitivity pneumonitis is a complex lung disease caused by repeated exposure to antigens. It is classified into acute, subacute, and chronic forms based on exposure duration. The underlying allergic mechanisms involve immune responses, cytokine release, and inflammation leading to tissue damage. In summary, drug-induced interstitial lung disease can cause pulmonary fibrosis, a serious and potentially fatal condition. It is caused by certain medications and involves the toxic effects of these drugs on lung tissue. Management involves discontinuing the offending medication and possibly using corticosteroids or immunosuppressive agents. Close monitoring of lung function is important. Immune checkpoint inhibitors greatly enhance the immune response against tumors, but they can also induce immune-related adverse events. These adverse events can affect the lungs, leading to conditions such as pneumonitis or bronchiolitis obliterans. Prompt recognition, discontinuation of therapy, and treatment with corticosteroids or other immunosuppressive agents are crucial for managing these complications. Healthcare providers need to be vigilant and take timely action to prevent respiratory compromise. Methotrexate is a commonly used medication in various medical conditions, including rheumatoid arthritis and cancer. However, it can lead to lung injury, ranging from mild pneumonitis to severe fibrosis. The pathogenesis of methotrexate-induced lung injury involves both direct cytotoxic effects on lung cells and immune-mediated inflammatory responses. Management of methotrexate-induced lung injury requires a multidisciplinary approach involving rheumatologists, oncologists, and pulmonologists. Early recognition and withdrawal of methotrexate are essential, along with the initiation of corticosteroid therapy for severe cases. Regular monitoring of lung function and serial imaging are crucial to assess disease progression and response to treatment. Aspirin-induced asthma is a form of asthma caused by taking nonsteroidal anti-inflammatory drugs like aspirin. The condition involves changes in arachidonic acid metabolism, resulting in increased cystinal leukotriene production. Diagnosing aspirin-induced asthma can be challenging because patients may not show typical allergic symptoms. Instead, they often experience severe bronchoconstriction and nasal symptoms. Managing the condition involves aspirin desensitization, along with the use of anti-leukotriene agents and inhaled corticosteroids to control symptoms and prevent exacerbations. Chemotherapy drugs have the potential to cause a wide range of pulmonary toxicities, including pneumonitis, pulmonary fibrosis, and drug-induced pleural disease. The underlying mechanisms behind chemotherapy-induced lung injury are diverse and depend on the specific drug involved. Common culprits include bleomycin, busulfan, and methotrexate. Management of chemotherapy-induced pulmonary toxicity requires a comprehensive approach. Treatment options may include the discontinuation or modification of the offending drug, administration of corticosteroids, or the use of supportive therapies such as oxygen supplementation and pulmonary rehabilitation. Close collaboration between oncologists and pulmonologists is essential for optimal patient care. Amiodarone is a medication used for heart rhythm problems but can cause lung damage. Symptoms are nonspecific like cough and difficulty breathing. Treatment involves stopping the medication and monitoring lung function. Severe cases may require steroids. Early detection is important to prevent complications. NSAIDs can cause bronchospasm by inhibiting cyclooxygenase enzymes, leading to increased production of bronchoconstrictive leukotrienes. Avoiding NSAIDs and using alternative pain relievers, along with bronchodilators and corticosteroids, can help manage symptoms. Healthcare providers need to take a detailed medication history to identify and manage this condition effectively. Antibiotics are commonly prescribed medications, but they can also be associated with respiratory hypersensitivity reactions. These reactions can manifest as different syndromes, including immediate or delayed type hypersensitivity, drug-induced eosinophilic pneumonia, and acute respiratory distress syndrome. The clinical manifestations of antibiotic-associated respiratory hypersensitivity reactions can vary widely, ranging from mild symptoms such as rash and fever to severe respiratory compromise. Prompt cessation of the offending antibiotic is crucial, followed by supportive care and administration of corticosteroids if necessary. Identification of the specific antibiotic responsible for the reaction is important to guide future antibiotic selection and prevent potential cross-reactivity. Biologic agents have greatly improved treatment for chronic inflammatory diseases but carry risks of pulmonary complications. 
Recognizing and managing these complications requires collaboration among pulmonologists, rheumatologists, and specialists, with monitoring and appropriate treatment being crucial. Illicit drugs, like cocaine and heroin, can harm the lungs. Cocaine can cause lung damage and fluid accumulation, while heroin users are at higher risk for infections like pneumonia and tuberculosis. Treating drug-induced lung disease involves stopping drug use, supportive care, and addressing complications. Healthcare providers must be knowledgeable about the lung problems associated with drug use and provide necessary care. Inhaled corticosteroids are commonly used for respiratory diseases but can cause dysphonia. Mechanisms involve local effects on the larynx. Prevention includes optimizing inhaler technique and minimizing dose. Voice therapy and regular assessment are important for managing this adverse effect. Drug-induced lung diseases consist of various conditions, each with different causes, symptoms, and treatments. Healthcare providers should be aware of these complications to ensure optimal patient care. Timely recognition, ceasing the medication, and proper treatment are crucial. Continued research and monitoring are essential for progress in pulmonology.